Oh, this internet is horrible. Need to call the customer service. XYZ customer service. How can I help you? Yes, hello. I would like to register a complaint about the terrible Wi-Fi network right now at my place. Sure, ma'am. Can I get your name? Sure. It's Upasana Gayan. Could you spell that out for me? U-P-A-S-A-N-A-G-A-Y-A-N Thank you so much, ma'am. We have registered your complaint and our team will get back to you in a few hours' time. Is there anything else that I can help you with? You're welcome. Have a great day. So that is how you would normally spell out your name if you're an English speaker or you know English. But in Turkey, because Turkey is always special, you would do it like this in the next clip. Türk Hava Yolları size nasıl yardımcı olabilirim? Merhaba. Bileti mi iptal etmek istiyorum? Aslında Fener'in tamam. maçı varmış. Ben unuttum. İsminiz neydi? Bu tabii Upa Sanagay'ın. Kodlayabilir misiniz? Tabii. Uludağ, Pamukkale, Ankara, Samsun, Adana, Nide, Ankara. Sonra Gaziantep, Adana, Yozgat, Adana, Nide. Teşekkür ederim Upasana Hanım. Biletiniz iptal edildi. Kısa bir süre içerisinde bir SMS ya da e-mail alacaksınız tarafımızdan. Başka bir şey var mı? Yok sağ ol. İyi Peki. günler dilerim efendim. Kolay gelsin. Hoşçakalın. If I have to be completely honest, when I first moved to Turkey and when I was asked to spell out my name, I would just, I mean, initially I would say U-P-A-S-A-N-A, but when people looked at me with surprised faces like, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? And I was like, what is happening? And then I noticed my friends and those people around me they're all that that that like always talking about these um, provinces in turkey and when i was new i didn't even know that many provinces in turkey at least their names so i was really confused i was like you what is a place with you in turkey mm. Mm. Mm. but then you eventually get used to it. i don't think as a tourist you would face this situation but you might even for like hotel reservations and stuff like that but yeah you eventually get used to things like that which is actually quite interesting because when I first came to Turkey I had no idea about so many things about so many things let alone the fact that English is not such a common language here and I had to learn it as you might already know about my story I eventually learned it and um, so you have to be prepared when you come to a foreign country with the things and the habits and the culture you have to get yourself acquainted preferably before you move to a country if you are coming as a tourist or if you visit another country as a tourist that it's, it's fine tourists can survive for what a week 10 days two weeks but when you're here to be here for so long you have to be mentally prepared about so many different things that might not come as normal to you but just because it doesn't come as normal to you doesn't mean that it is abnormal it's just that people and cultures are different like they say when in rome do as the romans do i hope that little bit of explanation of how turkish people spell out names and not just names of people but names of places or Random things, if you want to spell it out, you have to code it by the names of the provinces or cities in Turkey. Let's say you want to express something like Kandil, for example. Kandil, this is Mum in Turkey. So let's say you're telling, talking to me about Mum, about the candle, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Can you come again? I want to make notes. Like, what are you talking about? And you would say 
M like for Mumbai, U for Uttar Pradesh, M for Mumbai again. So that would be M-U-M and that would be Mum. Actually it makes sense but it's just a lengthier process than just saying out say M-U-M-B-A-I. That would be faster but that's how 20 people do it. And so I was thinking why not share this with you guys because I've been away for a while since my last vlog. It's because I haven't been feeling too inspired to create content at the moment but I was thinking why not share small tidbit information about Turkey, about Turkish culture. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and if you want me to make these kind of videos like random short videos like this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing at the moment because this is a random thing for most of you. This is the jersey of my favorite football team in Turkey which is Fenerbahce and uh, before autumn and winter sets in I thought why not take this out for a ride. So I'm wearing this at the moment. It's got the Fenerbahce clubs tag here and the Turkish flag here and it's sponsored by Adidas. So that's it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!